here today to give you a full tour of the lodge. We're going to start down on Red Lake Dock here. This is the barge that we bring all of our guests over from Red, the town of Red Lake over to where our lodge is located. It's about a five mile boat ride, takes about 35, 40 minutes. As you can see, there's lots of room on the barge for our groups and all of their gear. And uh, once they head over to the camp, we take them up the hill and we're going to do that now so you get an idea of how the camp is set up and everything we have to offer. It's about an 80 yard walk up the boardwalk up to the main area of the lodge and all the buildings. We do have a golf cart available as well for people who have trouble getting around and they're welcome to use that to get up the hill on the road. So we're gonna walk up the boardwalk now. You can see here there's a cutoff to the right of the boardwalk. If you keep going that way, you can get to a trail that hikes out to the point overlooking Red Lake. It's not a real long trail, about a 10 minute hike. It is fairly rough terrain, but definitely worth the trip if you're up for it. The first cabin we're going to check out is our small cabin. It has two rooms with an adjoining bathroom in the middle. It's the only setup we have that does not have each guest with their own, or each room with their own restroom. Um, so we're gonna look at a room in here real quick. This cabin has all single beds. It has two rooms with an adjoining bathroom in the middle. It can hold seven guests. That does include someone sleeping on the top bunk. All of our cabins have 24 hour power and hot water as well. So this kind of gives you an idea of how all of our buildings are set up. Uh, and see the tool house, bait house, see the big cabin off in the distance, and then the main lodge here with patio. Next, we're gonna go into the bait house. We have bait fridges in here. If you bring live bait with you, we also have an ice machine to fill coolers and a deep freezer to freeze the fish you take home. So two bait freezers in the back here, an uh, ice machine, lots of extra worm boxes, etc., and then a deep freeze for fish. This cabin has four identical rooms, each with its own bathroom with a sink, shower, and toilet. Um, there's a full-size refrigerator down here on the first floor, and uh, two rooms on the bottom, two rooms on the top, and again, 24-hour power and hot water as well. We have recycling in all of the cabins. Most cabins have blue bins. This cabin has black bin. Uh, we try to recycle as much as possible to cut down on our waste here at the lodge. This cabin has single beds as well. Each room holds four to five guests and each bathroom has a sink, shower, and toilet. All of our rooms also have heaters. 
Usually those only come into play at the beginning of the season and the end of the season, but we do have them available when it tends to drop off temperature-wise at night. You can heat your room to your liking. Now we're going to enter into the main lodge. We This is where breakfast and dinner are served every day during your visit. And uh, it's also open 24 hours and available to guests to play cards or whatever. And a wonderful view of, Red, of Parker Lake. We have a large map in the main lodge here that has the entire body of water for Red Lake and Parker Lake. Um, Travis likes to mark up fishing spots on that. We're more than happy to assist you with where to go to catch your fish. And this is kind of fun to check out each night. You guys will talk about where they're catching the fish and stuff like that. Over here you can see the kitchen. This is where the meals are served. Um, through the buffet hall in here. And another map up here to track where our guests are traveling. And there's the Parker Lake Dock and Cosmo. The next room we're going to go in is one of two rooms we have that have a queen size bed. Uh, these rooms also have their own bathroom again, and there's a refrigerator in this building as well. This is the fish cleaning house. Uh, we provide everything you need to freeze and package fish to go back home as well with instructions of how to do that. This also is where we keep extra life jackets for Parker Lake. private property on this lake. Excellent walleye and northern fishing. Thanks for joining us on our tour. We hope to see you up here soon.